Anyways, let's get going here. Battle Arena Toshinden 2. Peace Explosion number 210. 1996 fighting game. This is actually, in, in a lot of places, this is um, uh, shown as a 95 release. So it might be 95 in, um, in Japan. Uh, but most of the data that I saw says either 95, 96. But either way, it's a very, very early PS1 game. Um, so, fighting game developed by Takara, published by Playmates, uh, Pi, as their their acronym is. Um, we already did uh, Battle Arena Toshinden One, and I actually quite liked it. I can I can vaguely remember how it played and what it looked like. And man, for it for an early launch game, like it was it was fun to play. Um, and I typically don't like fighting games, so that was. Um, that was neat to me to actually play a fighting game that I, I somewhat enjoyed because um, most of them, nah, not for me. Not my genre. But, uh, but yeah, I'm hoping that uh, Toshinden 2 can keep that up. So, what you got here? So this is a, um, a non-long box release, I guess. This might have been like a, a re-release of, um, of this on the uh, uh, the regular CD case. All right, choose your weapon. Oh yeah, we're gonna be doing Susans. All right, um, choose your weapon and do battle against the greatest warriors of the world. Each martial arts fighter has been personally selected to represent his slash her special techniques and tactics in a winner takes all secret tournament that defies death. <sighs> of course, all of these are secret tournaments. Sure, your favorite characters are back in the arena with new moves and special attacks. Ag, the master swordsman, Sophia and her deadly whip, and Mondo with his powerful spear. I don't remember them at all, but okay. Um, two mysterious new contenders also join the battle with original moves and abilities that give them the chance to dominate the action. Learn brand new special moves, master the fight, and prepare for your day in the arena. Capital 8 Arena. Yep. The only tournament style fighting game that features true 3D 360 degree rotation excitement. <laughs> Didn't didn't Virtua Fighter come out before this? I they must okay. They're probably making a very specific claim here, but yeah, the, the there was the first game as well. Maybe it's the 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 tournament style is what they're basing this off of. I but but yeah. Virtua Fighter exists. That was like 92, I think, was Virtua Fighter. I want to say. So, okay, sure. Choose from four different camera angles normal, long, sky, and overhead. Fight 11 different warriors, including never before seen Tracy and Chaos, plus two boss characters and a hidden character. Okay, okay sure. Each warrior performs special moves that include crushing throws, inverted attacks, and ultimate moves. Brand new fighting arenas. Choose from eight different difficulties of difficulty. I'm going to set this to the lowest difficulty, most likely. Um, brand new moves and fighting combinations. Okay. One or two players. Takara. Playmates is based out of La Mirada, California, 90638. Um, I think that's in LA is where that is. Trojan Way. Yeah, that's probably in LA if I had to guess. All right, Playmates. Visit Playmates on the World Wide Web. www.playmatestoys.com Probably. Probably still there. Um, all right, so we got... Sure. There's a big timer in the bottom left. This must be from, like, the time attack mode or something. Because I don't remember seeing that in... The brief amount that I played. Okay. T for teen. Realistic violence. Very important. And then we got the... That, that's some That's some pretty good artwork there for that. That is... That's pretty well done. Uh, the disc looks like this. So, like I mentioned with the, the Ridge Racer um, disc art. 
for these early PS1 games, for the most part, it is just solid color with a little bit of, of highlight on them. And that's that's like this too. Like Ridge Racer was also this this purplish color. Um I don't think they were all like that, but most of them I think they were like that. <laughs> there it must be some weird manufacturing thing. Um reason why why they did it like that. Um all right, then we got some advertisement here. Death, it's what they live for. And there's that, that art again. That actually, that art looks a little bit different. Are Were there sparkles on on the whip here? On Yeah, okay. I guess that is the same. All right. Okay. Against a dark and shifting 3D landscape, 3 D landscape, the warriors of the Twisted Underworld, known as Battle Arena Toshin and Tua, which you return. How do they know you'll be back? Let's just say it's a gut feeling, as in the first 360 go-round. The moves are lethal, the stage is visceral, and the characters wicked. And this time, the original Avengers are joined by a new crew of fighters, like Tracy, the sexy cop gone bad, Gaia, merciless madman, and Chaos, a friendly fella who happens to swing a sickle. All of them real keen to get to know you better on every level. So welcome back and plan to stay a while because here in Battle Arena Toshinden 2, these Forsaken Foes aren't just out to take you down. They're out to take you out. Hey. PlaymatesToys.com, PlayStation. Sure. Uh, we got this one. That, uh... That must be one of the new bosses, I guess. Um, sure. More offensive weapons than you can shake a large pointy stick at. Okay. Swords, clubs, skewers, whips, swords, scythes, batons, and swords. They mentioned swords three times. All right. Battle Arena Toshinden 2 has enough lethal hardware to start a small war in your living room, so be careful. Or you could have somebody's eye out. Sure. Do not underestimate the power of PlayStation. That I will not do. Um, then we got a two-pager here. And this is this appears to be from a Spanish language publication. Um this is probably uh Yeah, I don't see that. This is probably for Spain, but there we go. That's what the uh the cool art on this double-sided one looks like. Okay. And then that's all all that. So, um, unfortunately, I wasn't able to find a manual for this. Because uh, most cases, I can't find a manual. Uh, but there is an FAQ on GameFAQs um, that has move lists and, and controls and all that. So the controls, pretty straightforward. Um, so it's... Uh, Triangle and square are use the weapon, and then cross and circle are kick. And then uh, to defend, it's hold back or hold down back. There's a dash, there's a back step, throw. Um, you can also move in and out of the screen with L1, L2. Advancing roll, quick dodge, and all that. Recovery, just button mash. Um, there's a stomp for a ground attack, back attack. Taunt with select. Special moves is a in directional input, and then either R1, R2, or both R1 and R2. Um, and then, yeah. That is all that. Okay. Let's do it. Okay. Let's make sure we got the audio here. We do. Okay. Let's go. All right, so I happen to know that this game's got FMV intro, boys. And if the audio sounds a little weird, like it, like there should be music and there isn't, that's actually how it's supposed to be. This game is kind of weird in how it handles its soundtrack. <laughs> All right. So this is supposed to be silent. Like, Sure. Sure thing, Takara. 
as is this. And now it comes on. <laughs> like. That which the world had never seen before, the ultimate fighting tournament, Battle Arena Toshinden. It has been a year since the incredible tournament took place. Those who fight to find their true selves, those who fight to preserve the future, they have assembled to fight again. And so the next tournament begins. The 3D models next to the live action characters is a little weird. <laughs> All right, Bounty Hunter, Lord of the Manor, Miner, <laughs> Police Woman, Magician, Master Monk. Adventurer. And take a guess. What is she? Private Detective, of course. <laughs> Private Detective. And then... The Dancer. Major, I'm doing okay. It's a little smoky up here still. But I'm doing okay. Hopefully you're doing well. All right. And then the audio is gone again. <laughs> okay. All right. So difficulties on four. I'm going to keep it there for now. Um, as always, disclaimer, when I'm doing a fighting game, I am not a fighting game expert. This is not a super play. This is not a demonstration of me being great at fighting games. I am bad at them. Do not give me shit about it. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right. We'll leave this on 60. Leave this all on, on default. Defense is auto. Auto normal or not used. I don't know why you would ever set this to not used and not be able to defend, but sure. Um, camera action. So we got normal, long, sky, and overhead. I, I guess I'll keep it normal. And then player select statistics. And then I, I I don't know what this means because because again I don't have the manual so, but sure. Um. Okay. I don't know what full battle is. I'm pretty sure this is just the normal arcade style thing. So we'll do this. All right. So we've got Ag, Kayin, Mondo, Bo, Rungo, the miner. Sophia, the private detective. Uh, Duke. Ellis. Gaia. Tracy. And Chaos. I'm going to play as my boy, A.G. Yosha! Yosha. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, give them the Susans. Well, I guess there is a timer there. <laughs> All right, get Susan. All right. All right. Japanese voices, because sure. Okay. Right. Give him the business. Very soul edge, yeah. 
We mashed it out and got there. <laughs> All you need to do is give him the Susan, and that consistently works. Sure. So there's this whole move move list in the the thing I've opened here, but surely don't need that. I can't remember if if the first game had Japanese voices or not. I I remember Susan, and that probably is still Japanese. <laughs> Dang, does she have, like, less HP than... Man, she has, like, no HP. Huh, I wonder if that's a thing. Also annoying that in the upper right, they have the press start to join in. I don't have a second controller plugged in. <laughs> like, there's no reason for it to be giving me that message. So yeah, uh, for whatever reason, the... the movement and dodging in this game just feels... Shit. Oh shit. Give me the business. Feels like super slow and clunky compared to uh, the first game, or what I remember from the first game. Alright. So I'm counting deaths as losing losing both rounds in this one. I got away from my my game plan of Susan's. Give me Get through them. Get through them. Get through them. Oh shit! <laughs> okay, I wanted to see what the taunt does, and that was probably a bad time to taunt. Get through them. Get through them. Get through them. Get through them. All right, Susan to victory. It's weird that there's no music in the in in parts of this. It's like only in matches, and that's it. No music anywhere else. The ringouts. Ask me anything about about fighting games. <laughs> And Battle Arena to Shinden 2. And I won't be able to answer because I am not a fighting gameologist. I don't remember there being fight at or ring outs in the first game. Okay, so apparently there's. Alright, Susan to victory. <laughs> I think I Susan to victory in, in the first one, too. <laughs> Like I, I love these these slow dodges. Like, <laughs> it looks so stupid. Yeah, did you enjoy all twenty seconds of that track? It was pretty good. All right, we made it to 
the fighter four in default difficulty so far so good usually this is when they actually start getting difficult though in all the other ones or difficult for me i guess Okay. You can tell she's a cop because she's got this enormous badge on her. All right. So like I like I suspected, <laughs> this is when it starts getting difficult. Oh, and it just gives you the press start. Okay. All right. How does game overs work in this? All right. Good. All right. I have a feeling we're going to be back in the main menu shortly to turn down that difficulty. Oh boy. Okay, well, there's our ring out. I know, right? Fighting games and their, their difficulty scaling, especially for arcade ones. It's like, okay, this is this is when they start getting the quarters out of you. And at least with the home ports, they let you change the difficulty, but no such luck in the the arcade. Holy shit, that was like most of her health. <laughs> okay. All right. Somehow I did that combo, that special move. How I did, I don't know, but it saved my ass there. That's that's a little ridiculous that you could do 90% of their health bar with one attack. And then I just completely get owned here. Completely whiffing. Okay. We're going to have to crank down that difficulty a little bit. Yep. I'm getting happy birthdays all over the place here. Happy birthdays cannot defeat Susan's. All right. Okay. This goes up to eight. I'm a... I'm assuming the lower the number, the easier it is. So we'll see how this goes. <laughs> so Though setting it to easy isn't always a guaranteed, hey, you can you can make it through. Because God, what was it? War gods or something? Even if you set it to the easiest thing, I was still just getting blown up like a third of the way through story mode. So We'll see how this works out, I guess. Okay, so they, they just don't even defend on difficulty one. Nice. <laughs> okay. All right. If I can't make it to the final boss with this, then I better turn in my video That's gamer card. And I guess I could, I could set it to um, only having to win one, one round, but probably also... Simplify things. God, it's like attacks in this game just are so slow. Maybe it's just this this guy. But it's like 
It's like doing a heavy attack in Soul Calibur for every single attack is how slow it feels. Like, I guess they wanted to, to be deliberate. But it's just... I don't like it. And I don't remember the first game being like that. Alright. Sure. Alright, forward down, down forward slash. Get up, come on. <laughs> All right, back down, down, back, slash. What a <laughs> Okay. So yes, definitively there's ring outs. Anta Sono Tedo Kayo. Sure. All right, down forward and kick for the Shugeki Dan. Difficulty one, perfect. I like this background. This is a neat looking background. And it doesn't even look like it's a. Uh... Get Susan. Yeah, that's that's some quality water. That's a really cool effect. I like that. It's probably just a scrolling texture on some some barely deforming uh, quads, but that looks really good. And this is uh, this is running at sixty, isn't it? I haven't been looking at the FPS. Oh, this is thirty. Okay. What the hell is that? 
this a magical girl? Actually, this might be a magical girl, and they just didn't... Didn't localize that. I'm curious now if she if that's what she's actually supposed to be. And maybe the Japanese version also didn't call Sophia a private detective, quote unquote. Alright, come on, chair. <laughs> I need a new chair. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh no. <laughs> okay. Wait, shit. Shouldn't have been dead. I didn't lose twice. This is this is the fourth combatant, isn't it? So just like before. Shit doesn't get real until until the fourth one. Alright, just butt mash hard enough until you do the cool combo. Okay. <sighs> No. All right, Mondo. Supposedly a circus performer. All right. Okay. Who who won that? Oh, we both won. <laughs> okay. All right, double KOs are a thing, apparently. I guess that can happen when you're able to do so much damage in this game. Oh, she's a cave GBH. <laughs> nice. She's a, a private detective KGB agent, sure. Ah, uh, fighting games. It could be. I don't know. Like if if I if I didn't know better and somebody like showed me footage of this or screenshots, I would just assume that this is like a virtual fighter game. Like if I didn't Oh man, that was that was quite the animation. <laughs> Is this uh is this the guy from Overblood 2? <laughs> it, it actually looks just like him. It's like the exact same outfit. As what whatever that guy's name is. Oh! 
Got him. Anta, sono te do kayo. All right, outsmarted. Okay. Ikimasu yo. Uh oh, Uranus. Sure. Is that a mech? Probably. But no, that is your anus, is who that is. Alright, get off the map, your anus. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Love it. Love it when games have a ring out mechanic. Alright. I think this is the final boss. According to the that, that walkthrough, I think this is the, the final boss of single player. And hopefully we get some more sick FMV. Get up. Anta, sono te do kayo. All right. No, 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 no! Oh. <laughs> <Look. laughs> Alright, my, my... My strap backfired. Hey, Ed. Oh, man. Alright. I just got big brain right off the map. I might actually have to do this one. Legit. Alright. Doesn't look like there's limited continues, so... Oh, man. So Master does quite a bit of damage. Oh, 
Okay, all right, one more. No! <laughs> Fuck. Ugh. Almost. Well, the thing is, I can't, I can't control which direction I'm shugeki donning in. Okay, there we go. All right. Because <laughs> it, it's not like Tekken or Virtua Fighter where you could just hold up or down to kind of go in a circle. In this, it's it's like you press press a shoulder button to very specifically like hop in a direction. <laughs> All right, get off my map. I am the champion. All right, what do we get for all that? Eiji grew up in awe of his brother Sho, the mighty warrior, and never imagined he could ever surpass him. His quest. Oh. うつくしいまでに躍動するその the game makes <laughs> What is it with 95 Japanese credits? Is this the the transplant team? Transplantation team? Oh, the story plot. Twenty first century cutie incorporated. Right Brain Incorporated. That's that's a good name. Bang Heads Incorporated. <laughs> Studio Dollop.
Steve Bang Pang. Pretty good. Why is Capcom credited in this? All right. They must have made the original arcade game, I guess. There's no other mention of Capcom anywhere. All right. I don't think this game even saves to the memory card, so... All right. Sure. I, all right, hold up. What? So you can't save your high scores or anything. So, uh, <laughs> well, there's some some other menu I don't know about. Okay, the select button goes through those. Okay, what is what is full battle? All right, let's let's. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, let's let's see what our girl Sophia is like. So full battle. I maybe this is you fight everybody on the on the roster. Okay. Sure. Yeah, Sophia was in like all of the advertising for everything. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Dude. Kids cover your eyes. Yes, walk right into my my super. She said something about Houston there. Sure. Perfect. That never gets old. Love it. Uh, let's see. Airland. Forward, down, forward, down, down, back, back, slash. Okay, so it's forward to back, half circle, slash. Down, down. Okay. Oh, so she has an answer here. Okay. Oh, so okay. So depending on which button you use. Man, some of her her button combos are a whole lot of buttons. Alright, so she's got a Susan. Oh, 
Shuriken! <laughs> okay. I'm still not sure what the difference is between... <laughs> between this and... Maybe this mode just keeps going until you... Until you lose, I guess? Because it, it does say champion. I guess we're we're gonna see all the characters at least in this. Yeah, it's got you fight everybody on the roster, I guess. And how that's different from regular one player mode. Sure. I guess they didn't have this in, in the arcade. Probably the difference. ever hits. Sure. Uh. Oh man! I, oh, I remember this guy from the the first game. Okay, that one you just you have to dodge. Dang. Nice ponytail. All three sections of it. No, 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 no. So weird that they have to keep stopping the music in order to do this. Most other games don't do that.
Well, I don't know. To be to be honest, I think these models actually look pretty good. Especially for for 95 when this came out. Like uh, Um and shit the the arcade game was probably 94, maybe. And this this is actually really well detailed for for the time. Fight, fight. <laughs> But yeah, the um, trying to do 3D hair, like modelers didn't really get the the tools and the the horsepower to do that properly until until like uh, the early 2010s, I would say. <laughs> Like, I would argue 360 and PS3 games still had crappy hair. And it wasn't until, like, PS4, Xbox One generation that, um, that hair started to look like hair because they had the, the graphics budget to do that. So they had to make do, and, and yeah, I, like, the, the front of her hair actually looks pretty good. It's just trying to do longer hair with, with segments to it is difficult to do. Yeah, which is why ponytails are are used a lot in in stuff like that. And you don't have just like free flowing hair all over the place in most games. Because it, it's either going to look like a mess or it would just be the biggest pain in the ass to, to animate. Like shit, even like big CG movies. Why did the whole UI disappear when he did that? Perfect. Because <laughs> yeah, like I, I'm thinking back to um, like Final Fantasy Spirits Within, like they. They spent a lot of money and time on all that. Somebody! And had all the polygons they could ever hope to work with. And even in that, the hair looked, looked like shit still. And if you can't make CG, pre-rendered CG hair look good, then good luck getting real-time hair to look good. All right, nice job, computer. Yeah, the camera doesn't really know what to do if you bring it out. <laughs> All right, almost there. It could be. Okay. So here is Overblood 2 protagonist. Whatever that guy's name was. It wasn't Raz. It was, it was other guy. It wasn't Raz, wasn't Peepo. Okay, it was Peepo. Okay, Peepo's co-star <laughs> in Overblood 2. 
Oh yeah, Carno. That's right. Somebody. That's why I couldn't remember his name because it's some random ass name. Somebody. 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 Got him. And that was an epic fight. <laughs> Alright, I gotta I gotta look this up. Come on. Yo, it totally is him. It totally is him. Somebody! Alright. Hold up. Hold up. Can I, can I full screen this? Alright. That is absolutely him. <laughs> that is absolutely a Carno. That is absolutely him. Amazing. His debut was in <laughs> Battle Arena Toshinden 2. Somebody! Okay, what what other options are in here? Yo, you, okay. Interesting. So I can just give myself more health if I wanted to. Sure. Hello, A. I've technically already beaten this game. I just wanted to see what, uh, see all of the fighters. Two more, I think. <laughs> but I don't think we're going to be able to, to see an ending for this. This, this guy was in the first game, now that I think about it. I remember this guy. Alright, giving him the submarine. Oh man. Lowest difficulty. It's pretty good. Fight. Fight. Somebody. Yeah, naturally. Like all miners. Somebody. 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 Full time miner, part time caveman. That's so weird that some of them, the UI disappears. Somebody. Like I've done a super before and it didn't. Somebody. It didn't make the UI disappear. Somebody. 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 
Yeah, different angle on it for some reason. <laughs> I love that. Okay. And then after this guy should be Uranus and then Master. Submarine. Somebody! 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 Next should be Uranus. Hopefully. And then... Yep, okay. Alright. Uranus again. We can't just cheese her out of bounds like last time. I can, however, give her the submarine. Got her. <laughs> Alright. Turns out all you need is a submarine. Uranus sank my submarine.
That was some input reading there. <laughs> Got him right where I want him. <laughs> Perfect. Thousand IQ. Perfect. Alright. Yeah, Master's got some bullshit attacks. I can tell just by what they're able to do. Yeah, like a, a full screen. Here's a sword that's the size of half of the half the the arena. Okay. But luckily we can just do that. All right, is there an ending for full battle mode? Hopefully there is. Okay, looks like there is. Hey. Oh, it's it's the same thing. Okay. This uh sure. Kyoku o sousa sarete ita Sofia. Kako o mota no kanashimi wa dare ni mo likai sareru mono dewa naku. She remembers that she cannot remember. Kokeru tabi kokoro wa kanashimi ni somatte itta. しかし悲しみを救うことができなかったソフィアはさらなる悲しみを背負うのであった
these endings kind of suck. <laughs> Except the part where it gets to the game makes. La Milana. It sounds like a Ridge Racer tune to me. Oh, the Marketeer. Bang Pang. Capcom. All staff. And me. Thanks, me, for setting a difficulty to one and then steamrolling this game. You're welcome, me. And it's probably going to ask me for my initials, even though it doesn't really matter because you can't save them. But sure. Oh, it doesn't even do. It's only in one player that it asks for your initials. Sure. Okay. And then versus computer is. Yeah, just this. Okay. All right. Very exciting. All right, cut the timer on that one. Okay. Battle Arena Toshinden 2, huh? All right, completed? Yeah. I got to the credits twice. One in single player mode, or 1P mode, and then one in full battle mode. With two different characters. I saw the credits twice, so I beat the game double what I normally would. Cheated? No. I did set it to the very lowest difficulty, but the game lets you do that. I didn't put in any button codes or anything, so... 100% legit, baby. <laughs> sure. Um, okay. Things I liked. Still contains Susan. Uh, the credits music are really good. Um, opening FMV was nice. <laughs> Has a decent amount of characters. Uh...
unintentionally funny sometimes. That water background. That's right. That water background is pretty good. Um, let's see. Yeah, that's probably most of that. Um, felt way slower than the first game. So I... It felt way slower, not dealt. Um, so I, I, I seem to recall... It's been a while since I did Battle Arena Tushin in one, but I remember it being a lot faster than this one. So, so for some reason, they made the decision to slow down and make things way more deliberate in this game, which I don't normally think is a good direction to take your fighting game. Um, cause it's, it got, it's almost like dark souls in how you have to play this, where you have to be damn sure that whatever you're doing is going to hit. Um, because if it doesn't, you're, you're kind of stuck for like two seconds while the animation plays. Um, and that's like I, I suppose there's room for a game like that, but I don't particularly like that. Um, and I could have sworn the first game was not like that, from what I remember. It very well could have been, because it's been a while since I played it. But but that that still doesn't really change my point, though. My point is is that this felt super heavy. I guess is probably the best description I can put for it. Yet. All, everything you did in this game felt heavy. Like, you, if you did the, the roll out of the way, it's like you'd hit the shoulder button to roll, and then they would spend, like, three seconds slowly rolling through the air um, around you in a, in a circle, and it's it's not good. I did not like how that felt. Um, and that's... IMO, that is not how you should be doing a fighting game. Um, let's see, what else? Uh, endings were pretty lame. Oh, I clicked twice. Endings were lame. Okay, I broke Peepo. Whoops. Endings were lame. Um... I'm gonna say not enough modes. They're like usually usually these games had more modes than that. Um But like that's that's the most I can really think of off the top of my head. I gotta switch my TV TV over here before it turns off. Um Yeah, that that's mostly things I didn't like. Uh let's see, dank memes. Susan. Okay, Peepo is completely broken. <laughs> Whoops. Alright, Susan. Oh no, there we go. Alright, Peepo's back. Welcome back, Peepo. Um Let's see. Uh Submarine. Private detective. Game makers. Game makings. I think it's game makings. Um one of the characters... This is why I normally don't type. Characters looks like the guy from Overblood 2. Um, oh, Game Makes? Okay. The Game Makes. Um, yeah. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Uh... That's most everything I can remember. Okay. All right, drum and bass. I don't remember any. Um. Oh yeah, Steve Bang. That's right. Steve. Bang. Pang. All right. No. No D and B. No A Lamaus, as far as I am aware of. So neither of those. Um. Okay. Difficulty is hard. So. It's difficult for me to judge difficulty on fighting games because I'm not good at them at all. Um, so I can only go off of how I, I personally felt playing this one. Um, so I first tried to do it on four out of eight, which is the default difficulty. It goes from one to eight. One being the easiest, eight being max difficulty. 
Um, four was too hard for me once you got past the third fight, I think, uh, about halfway through single player. Um, cause I was just, I was getting blown up and I could tell. So it would have been a struggle to finish out that. Um, and then one was probably too easy if I could mostly just cheese my way to, to um, to victory. But luckily the difficulty setting in this game does actually do something and lets you, um, lets you beat it. So automatically that disqualifies the hardest uh, five out of five on here. Um, I'd really have to play with the other, try the, the intermediate difficulties like two or three to get a good gauge on it. But because it at least let me beat it and the, the normal difficulty was at least doable for, for up to half of it. Because um, some of these fighting games, I play on the difficult, the, the, the normal medium difficulty and I get blown up on like the first fight. Like, what was it? Cardinal Sin, I think. Um, Cardinal Sin on like the, the normal difficulty or the step below normal, I was just getting completely wrecked on um, like stage one out of like 10. So some games do it better than others in terms of difficulty and to, to Battle Arena to Shinden's 2's credit, it actually does work properly. So I'm going to err on the side of, of giving this game um, credit where I think it, it has it. So I'm going to give it a, a just right here for difficulty. Okay. Rating 1 to 5. So I seem to... I remember really, really liking Battle Arena to Shinden 1 because it, it felt fluid. It, it was a game that was accessible to me because it's, it's not one of those games where, okay, the combo list is this long and if you don't memorize everything, then good luck. Um, this one, the combo list is like this long. Um, so it feels like you're, you're able to really take advantage of your, your character's whole move list if you need to and want to. Um... There's there's plenty of personality with all the characters, which is nice. Um, Presentation-wise, I think it ran and looked looked just fine, especially for when it came out. Um, a little weird with what they did with the music, where the, the music just kind of cuts out sometimes. Um, and I'm pretty sure that's not a PSIO thing. I think that's just a, a Toshinden 2 thing. Um, and as far as the fun factor in this one... Like, going back to my criticisms about how this game felt heavy, like, typically that's not how you want a fighting game to, to feel. Like, sure, a Dark Souls game or an action RPG like that, that's fine having the heavy feel to it. But for for a fighting game like this, that's that's not really ideal. Um, and I think that was probably the biggest the biggest reason why I liked this one less than um, original Toshinden. But still... That, that doesn't mean this whole game is a lost cause. Like, I can I can see things to like in this one. Um, and it, it, it'd probably be an okay, uh, like, multiplayer fighting game in a pinch. Though, I, I can't really imagine a situation where you'd, you'd pick this over something like Soul Calibur. Um, but, but, yeah, this, this ain't bad. And this is this is probably one of those. Hey, you should probably give this a try at some point, um, but maybe not like the. Hey, this is a, a a classic that deserves to be on every shelf for PlayStation owners. So I, I think for two, I'm gonna I'm gonna give two uh, a middle of the ground here on this one. I I believe I gave the first one either a four or a five. I think I gave it a four. Um, so I like this one less. Therefore, uh, three out of five. Okay, there we go. Battle Arena to Shinden 2. Peace Explosion number 210 completed in one hour, nine minutes, five deaths. Uh, two characters' stories done in single player and full battle mode. And there we go.